When's the last time you heard of a booby trap that wasn't just Larry from IT? In the pyramids, they had hidden pits and sand traps to mess with would-be thieves. Unfortunately, it didn't have a dentist chair suspended over some soggy fish to stop the British archaeologists. Throughout history, design has often been used to hide things, like furniture during the 18th and 19th century that was used to hide marriage license of first cousins. In American Prohibition, booze baddies hid the drank in a mixture of secret devices and TSA wet dreams, with many enterprising Americans turning to design to avoid the law. In security terms, cover are things that will stop weapons from hurting you, while concealment are things that will stop the enemy from seeing you. In design, as cover got better with stronger locks and materials, the need for concealment like hidden drawers and secret mechanisms faded in importance. In this video, I'll go over some crazy concealment techniques throughout history and design my own secret button that can do anything but make you subscribe. The coolest hidden objects are ones that are out of category. When you pull the heavy stationary candle holder to open the secret door, you take something that you wouldn't consider twice and yank it out of its category. In 2000, in the mountains of France, at the Mont saint Adil Monastery, books began disappearing from the shelves. It took two years and a rando police officer leaning against a bookshelf to reveal that this book freak was sneaking through a secret passageway behind the bookshelf to pilfer the books. Meanwhile, across the globe in Japan, the Mayor Yuji Temple was founded in the 16th century. The monks there built secret trap doors, booby trap pits, secret passages at the bottom of wells, and paperback steps so that guards could see intruders' footsteps. So for my secret button, I wanted something that people wouldn't think twice of and jam a hidden feature inside. We humans love sculptures, though from my own bank account as an artist, not enough to pay for. But we especially love the ossified heads of dead thinkers and poets and generals and people we definitely aren't over-romanticizing. I chose a mixture of historic greats like Michelangelo's David, Albert Einstein, Harry Tubman as a starter bust, as well as a ton of others. Now the best hidden triggers are mechanical in nature. People care about a dummy false door as much as a goldfish cares about tomorrow. People are willing to pay the equivalent of one American ambulance ride for a TV that rises from the ground because that mechanism is cooler than even Chris Evans chopping wood. This 18th century Italian broke strongbox has not one but two secret triggers to reveal the keyholes, for instance. Italian designers created this box to keep physical values safe from theft, but as security technology improved throughout history, suddenly people had better materials and ways to keep things safe, especially with the dawn of the digital era. With these shifts, secret buttons in compartments and rooms became much more about entertainment. Take the thousands of escape rooms that have been started across the world as employment centers for LARPers when they're not eating microwave noodles in their parents' basements. The cool tricks and hidden aspects of these are solely about entertainment and not about security. So for my secret bus, I'm going to put it on a hinge that flips open to reveal the secret button. Now what will we have the secret button do? We've seen a lot of secret reveals in this video. Some modern ones are alarm switches, while others are more celebratory or simply change the environment in some way. And since I have trouble deciding like whether to have small calves or just small arms, I decided to delay deciding and do it all. I found a smart home button called Flick that connects to your phone to do literally anything. Control lights, send texts, play Alexa commands bring back the dead. If you want this bus with a secret home button, I have historic figures like this and 15 others on my website. I made this because I truly believe that we need more secret buttons in life, and I hope you do too. But what I really want to know is, what's yours going to do?